Hello everyone. I hope you have been using Power Query in Excel or Power BI for some time now. It may have crossed your mind. Is there any way through which we can refer to any of the intermediate steps of one query into another query? Imagine that you have query one with eight steps. Now you want to create another query number two referring to step number four from query one. Similarly, you want to create another query number three referring to step number five from query one. Now you might have noticed that with the default options in Power Query, referencing to another query in any intermediate steps is not possible. Default option will always refer to the final output from another query and not any intermediate steps. Now to address this problem, there are two options. The first one is is to split the query number one at the steps which you want to refer into separate queries, and then you refer back to the respective queries as required. I find this option not convenient and may require some extra maintenance. Now, in this video, I will be showing you the second options of converting the query number one into a record and then adding a meta step and using that as a reference point in another queries. So, without much delay, let us start with our dummy data set. And see how this can be done. So here on screen, you can see that I have some dummy data set for sales of various fruits. I will be importing this data into Power Query, then perform some simple transformations, and afterwards I will convert that query into records. Then add a meta step inside it and use it as a reference for another queries. So let us get started and import this data into Power Query. So go to data from table and range. Now it has been imported into Power Query. I will select the amount column and round it off without any decimal places. So added zero over here, converted this. Now I will filter out only of the selected fruits which I want: apple, grapes, lemon, and mango. These four fruits I want, and I have filtered it out. Now these are the few steps which I have performed it. Now if I refer back to this query using this reference one, you can see that I can't refer to any of the specific steps inside this query. It will always refer to the last step and give me the output from last step as an input for this reference query. So let us see how I can convert this original sales data into a records. So for that purpose, select the sales one. Go to Home tab and Advanced Editor. Now, after the let keyword, press Enter, and we will say two records. Now, this name, whatever name you want to give, you can give it. Just start with two records, square bracket open. If immediately the close square bracket is also coming, just delete that. Now, select the in keyword, press Enter, and before in, just press the close square brackets button. Now. Afterward, this let us type or just copy the same keyword and paste it over here, and put the filtered one in square brackets. And now let us start typing meta. Now square brackets open. I will simply say step reference equal to again paste the same word which I have mentioned over here, and remember this step reference whatever you have typed, and let us click done. Now you can see that all the steps which were mentioned in applied steps have been removed. However, the last output has been still getting displayed over here. Now I can simply go to new source and let us create a blank new query. Now inside this query, what I will do under source, I will simply start typing value dot meta data. So when I select, if value is coming twice, just delete that. Word and let us press equal to. Now in round brackets, I will refer back to my sales query, and under square brackets, I will type the step reference which I have added at the end. Now press enter. The moment I press enter, I can see all the steps from sales query have been mentioned as a records over here. Now whichever step I want to refer, I can simply click on that. For example, if I want to refer to rounded off, I can simply click and I can see the output from that particular step. Has been displayed in this particular query. So this will be my query one. So if I want to create one more query, let us say query 
one and this can be a query number two which I have created up. Similar way, I can just start typing value dot metadata round bracket sales inside that and step reference. I'm just putting and press enter. Similar way, the records are getting displayed and this time let's say if I want to refer to change type, I can simply click on that and you can see it has referred to change type step. So you can see any of the queries can refer to any of the intermediate steps from this sales query. So this is one of the approach through which you can refer to any of the intermediate steps. Now after looking at this approach, you might notice that all the steps which were displayed under sales query under applied steps have got removed. Now if I want to later on modify that, it might be a little cubersome. So what is the solution for that? So let us go back to our advanced editor. Now I will convert these two records to a comments by simply adding forward slash similar way this one also I will just add forward slash and even for this one also forward slash I will add. So this will get converted into comments. Now I will simply copy this last step and put it after in keyword and let us press done. Now you can see that all the steps which I have performed before have now getting displayed under applied. But my query 1 and query 2 are showing errors. So no worries about that. Now let us say if I want to perform any additional transformation, for example, amount, I will simply say multiply by 10. I'm adding that particular step and now that has been added. Now I will go back to my advanced editor again and remove the comments symbols which is forward slash from this square brackets and put comment symbol before this last step which has come in and now I will simply copy this last step name and replace this filtered rows because this was the previous last step I am just replacing that with control paste and let us press done. Now here you can see all the steps have got removed and my query 1 and query 2 now still refer back to the respective steps whichever I have selected and it works fine. So I hope you find this approach useful. So see you guys in next video.